Shimani Williams. Yeah. What's up, everybody? What's up? How you doing? All right. All right. I'm from Brooklyn. Brooklyn in the house? Yeah. That's what's up. Unfortunately, this is a bad day. I'm very disgusting myself, actually. Uh, I'm a public school baby, raised right. in the public school system, yeah. from preschool to masters, all in Brooklyn right. public school. Right. And what I saw as I grew up in the public school system was mostly working class students, a lot of them with a lot of melanin in their skin. So I'm disgusted when I see a rich woman with not much melanin in her skin being chosen to run this school system. And it seems like rich people who don't have much melanin in their skin are taken to run New York City. This is not what New York City is about. This is not what New York City is about. This is not what our educational system is about. Our system should reflect the people that we're trying to assist. But I do believe that Mayor Bloomberg is very much out of touch for people who are in New York City. He's very much out of touch with the educational system. Leave no mistake about it. Kathy Black, if she was in a classroom, like one of my colleagues pointed out, if she stepped out of the classroom, if the teacher stepped out of the classroom, legally she wouldn't be allowed in there because she's not qualified to be in the classroom. But we chose her to run the school system. I know a lot of people with managerial school, uh, managerial skills. Puff Daddy got managerial skills. Why would we try to Puff Daddy? Jay-Z got managerial skills. And they built that stuff from the ground up. I say they got better managerial schools than she does. There's a lot of people we can reach out. Is that managerial skills is one component. It's not the only component. Kathy Black wouldn't have been picked to run the NYPD. She wouldn't have been picked to run the FDNY because she doesn't have that background. The 1.1 million children in the school system and the tens of thousands in my district should be held in the same highest regard as we hold everybody else. The fact of the matter is, she was here and she's been brought here to cut and demolish the $24 billion in the school system. That's precisely and the only reason she's put here. The kids and my kids in this school system deserve to be there, held in the same high regard as the NYPD, as in FDNY, as every other commissioner in this system. Bloomberg, with his money, unfortunately has been able to get away with whatever he wants to get away with. Whatever he wants to get away with. Even the panel that they chose decided to deny the waiver. And I prayed in hope that Steiner would grow some and hopefully be brave enough to step out and to back these parents and to back these teachers and to back this community who decided to come out against all our, our odds and anything that would happen to them. But he didn't. So it's up to us right now. It's up to us, this coalition, the Not A Waiver Coalition, Freedom Party, everybody's here. I got my red on underneath my jacket. It's time for us to keep this fight going and the lawsuit going. Now, I speak for myself come January 3rd, I hope she's not there. If she is, I want to make sure our kids get the best they can deserve. But for right now, we got to fight like hell. We got to fight like hell to make sure this doesn't happen. The man can't do whatever the hell he wants to do with the kids in the school system here. The man, just because he's rich and he's powerful, has to know he has to answer to us. And he will answer to us. Thank you so much.